Welcome back to Note-Taking Methods. If you're just joining us, please stop to go back and view the first video before continuing. In part one, we examined how Cornell Notes and the outline method work. We also brainstormed different types of Utilito classes where you might apply these strategies. Now we're going to move on to explore mind maps and the sentence method. On to mind maps. Mind maps start with a central topic at the top of the paper or at the center of the paper. Ideas branch out with facts and details. You can draw your own mind maps or use a free app. In our world religions sample here, the relationships between concepts really stands out. Mind maps are great for visual learners. The relationships between info can be clearly seen. It's easy to edit notes by adding numbers, marks, and color coding. Review your notes by covering up sections and reciting from memory. Kinesthetic learners can convert main points later onto flashcards or a study guide. For the cons, be careful. You may not hear changes in content from the major points to the smaller facts. Mind maps work perfectly when the lecture content is heavy and well-organized. It might suit history of jazz, philosophy, English, law and social thought, or social work. It might be your go-to tactic when you have a guest lecturer and don't know what to expect. Pause for a moment and reflect. Where will mind maps work well? We're on to the fourth note-taking technique, the sentence method. This technique is rather simple. Write every new thought, fact, or topic on a separate line in your notes. Use bullets or number your lines as you progress through the lecture or reading. You'll have to use abbreviations to capture everything. Our same sample lecture is back. And whoa, these notes are a lot to wade through. The sentence method captured the facts but a lot is left for the learner to process. Perhaps the one strength of the sentence method is that it is a survival mechanism to capture details when a lecture is rapid fire. However, you won't be able to differentiate the major and minor points. Plan on rewriting your notes later. This system won't show relationships to information and can appear overwhelming to look at. With so many cons, why resort to this method? Use this when the lecture is somewhat organized but heavy with content. It's useful when you can hear the different points but don't yet know how they fit together. Try it if you have an instructor that lectures fact by fact. Okay, for the last time, pause and identify a situation where the sentence method could work. Be flexible with your notes. One strategy might fit well in one course, but not match up with another. Your success coach is available to see how you might adapt. Consider connecting with your instructor in office hours as well. Ask what tactics they recommend for success in the course. So, how'd we do? If you want to learn more about note-taking, bonus resources are in the space below. Please also complete the evaluation linked below or comment. We love to hear your feedback. Like what you see? Learn more about note-taking strategies and other topics with your success coach today.